Hey guys, how's it going? I am the law and I'm here to protect you from bad Pokemon trainers. So today we have another episode of how to get legally ranked. And if you want to watch the team preview, you can just hop back to the last video I made and watch it right there. So yeah, let's just hit that challenge but let's not waste any time, alright? I did some in-between playing <laughs> because, you know, I love this game and I don't always have time to record it. So yeah, we're at a rating of 1525. So I'm hoping to get to 1600 pretty soon because we couldn't get to 1600 last time. So we got a rated a, Jap a Japanese person again, rated 1412. So he's bringing Rotom Heat, Weavile, Talonflame, Aegislash, Greninja, and Lopunny. So I can tell my Heat run will be very good because it have it has super effective moves on four of the four of those so yeah I might just lead with that and then I might bring hmm yeah definitely definitely gonna bring Heatran and I might bring hmm what to bring I might bring Diggersby and Greninja actually so yeah Heatran Diggersby Diggersby can take take care of that AG Slash and it can take care of that low punny Although I kind of want to bring Venusaur as well. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Heatran, Diggersby, and Greninja. So I'm gonna lead with Greninja because it has got a choice scarf so it can outspeed anything on his team, obviously. And I forgot to turn the music on, sorry guys. So yeah. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna come from that. I'm bringing Greninja, Heatron and Diggersby, so yeah, let's go. Let's get it, let's go, let's get it, let's go. Although he has got fake out with his low pony, I, I'm supposing the low pony is Mega because it is the only possible Mega and there is no reason to run a regular low pony. <laughs> but both his Weavile and his low pony might have fake out, so yeah. <sighs> I should watch out for that. He sends out Weewai. So yeah, he's probably gonna fake me out. But in case he doesn't, I'm just gonna go for a U-turn. Oh, uh, Weewai's kind of stopped my team though. Damn. Yeah, you know what, I'm gonna go for a U-turn. To break a possible Sash or anything. So we don't see him going for fake out, so what did he go for? What to see? He might have gone for low kick or something of that matter. And both of my pi all three of my Pokemon are weak to low kick. Oh my god. <laughs> this wasn't well planned. So ouch. I'm hoping that it's going for an like an ice type move or maybe knock off or anything. But yeah, I'm gonna switch in my heat run right here. No low kick, no low kick, no low kick, no low kick. And that is gonna do a hell of a lot to my heat run. Damn! Oh my god. So yeah, we're just gonna go for a lava plume here. If he decides to switch out into his Rotom Heat or into his Talonflame to resist the lava plume, it's fine. But I think that we can. I think we go down to a low kick this turn. Unfortunately. Yeah, low kick. Can we take it? No, we can't take it. And couldn't really have done much there, so yeah, and I'm gonna switch back out into my Greninja. Even though the U-turn is very obvious, I'm gonna go for it again. Or you know what, I might not. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the U-turn. Maybe I just go for Skull. Nope, going for U-turn. Will he switch out? I sure hope not. Sure hope not. Ice shard just to get some damage. Nice play. Although I am water type, so it it won't do a lot. So yeah, U turn. <coughs> U turn's gonna finish this guy off. I am a timid Greninja though. Timid is speed raising and uh, attack decreasing nature. So yeah, that's not the best, I guess. So now I'm gonna go out into my digger speed. We could still bring this back, we're 2 versus 2 now. 
I love this guy's cries like <laughs> And then he's got like hands for ears <laughs> So weird Pokemon So what are you gonna go out to to counter my heat my digger speed? that teleflame. Yeah, that's teleflame. You know what? I'm just gonna go for a wild charge. Hoping that I can take a brave bird. I am max hit points. I am max hit points. I can take this. I can take this. Please take this. Pull through, pull through, pull through. Oh my god! You eat it up! Oh, damn. And <laughs> you take him out in one shot. Diggersby pull through. Diggersby was hurt by the rocky. So yeah, Rocky Helmet, Rocky Helmet, talent plan. okay. <clears throat> so what are you gonna go out into? Rotom Heat. Now I have zero speed investments on this guy. So I'm just gonna go for the quick attack to get some damage. Because I don't know if I can outspeed or not. So yeah, quick attack it is. Look at this guy! That's a Rotom right there! Rotom is so tank! <laughs> I'm amazed by huge power. <laughs> See, now I'm gonna go out into my Greninja and I might just go for Dark Pulse just to resist his Dark Pulse. But you know what, I'm think I think I'm just gonna go for a Skull to take him out. So I'm gonna go for the skull, I'm definitely gonna outspeed because I am. Yeah, that took him out. So, yeah, starting off with a win, and now we did face an opponent that was. What was, it, what was his rating? Like 14 12. But still, I'll take a win. I'll take a win any, any day in the week. Oh, excuse me for my burping, I've just ate. <laughs> So I do want to continue battling, and that uh, I love this team. It's been doing great so far. Oh my god, I'm burping so much. I'm sorry, guys. I bet you don't care about enemies. Anyways, let's hit that challenge button. I'm feeling very positive in today. And now we're gonna switch it up to music 21. 21. <laughs> I'm not gonna copy. Shady Penguin or the King Nappy. I just think it's hilarious. So yeah, Japanese person again, rating 15-15. Needs bring in Aegislash, Earthorn, Tyranitar, why couldn't I remember, remember that name? Gyarados, Gudra and Latios. So, I can see that I have super effective moves with my Slurpuff on 4 out of six of those Pokemon. So it's gonna bring at least one Pokemon that I'm super effective against. So I might lead with Slurpuff actually. And Heatran seems to do okay. I kinda wanna bring in just for the for the for the why can I remember names sometimes? For a Ferrothor. It's not that hard. And then I might bring Gengar. I might bring Gengar, we'll see. Hmm. I want something for the Gyarados though, although I don't have a lot. No, Gengar can kind of counter it, I guess. Just go for Sludge Bomb or Shadow Ball, and then the following turn go for Destiny Bomb. <coughs> so I'm gonna lead Slurpuff, I'm gonna bring Gengar, and I'm gonna bring Heatran. So, yeah, guys. If you're excited for this episode, this, be sure to destroy that like button below this video. And if you like, you can always follow me. And, you know, if you think you can break the law, then just add my front code and we'll have a battle. So let's see what he leads off with. He leads off with T-Tar. Now I think he's gonna straight up switch. I think he's gonna straight up switch. Unless he knows what Slurpuff does. But he probably knows, but... I believe that I can take one of his Stone Edge or Rock Slide or whatever you want to go for. Unless you're Mega. If you're Mega, I'm screwed. He withdraws, so we get a Belly Drum off. Nice. Don't show me Aegislash, though. 
Yes! And I know that I can Oko this guy with Drain Punch, I believe. And I can get a lot of health pass. So I might just see Sweep here, but you know, a win's a win. So, Drain Punch it is. It might not take him out if he's bold and max defense, but I believe he should kill. Drain Punch it is. And bop. <laughs> I love Slurpuff so much. It is the perfect sweeper. Iron Barbs, are we gonna see the Rocky Helmet? No, we're not. This is a great start to this episode, actually. What you're gonna bring in? Edgy Slash? No oh, Edgy Slash. Latios. So, yeah. I can just Oko you with a play rough. Unless it misses. No, I shouldn't have said that. I jinxed it. So. What are you gonna go for? We hit the play rough, thankfully. No Sash. And that's a. That's a sweep right there. So I'm gonna bring you guys another battle because watching sweeps aren't all that fun, I guess. Do you see what I mean with Slurpuff? He's the perfect, absolutely perfect sweeper Pokemon. I don't know what's going on with the recording, it seems kind of iffy. Now it's settled. Yeah, sorry guys. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna go for Drain Punch now to finish this guy off. Good game, but now we forfeit it. So yeah, that's a sweep right there. I'm considering doing a sweeping montage just with Slurpuff because I have wait, I have, I have had way too many sweeps with him. Although I'm not gonna save it. I want to continue battling, please. Battle box it is, and this will be the last battle of the episode, I believe. Let's challenge someone. We're sitting in a nice and powerful rating of 1551. So yeah, that's probably like top 5 in Sweden, I guess. Well, I'll have to check it out. So, United States! Way! United States. And he's bringing a Rotom Wash, a Mawile, a Talonflame, a Latias, a Gengar and a Lopane. So yeah. As I always say, you know it's a powerful team when he's got four possible Megas. <laughs> and then on top of that, a Time of Fame and a Roman Wash. Oh my god. So, I might want to bring Venusaur here because he's the only thing that can deal with the Roman Wash. And Gengar does okay against this team, I believe. He can Willow Wisp the. Uh, sorry, guys. <laughs> I've had so many burps since we started this, I, I just have to get him out of my system. Oh. So yeah, I kind of want to lead Gengar I believe. Yeah, I'm going to bring Gengar, I'm going to bring... We, we have seen that Diggersby can actually counter Talonflame pretty good, so... And then I think I'm gonna bring... Well, what do I have for that? Latios. Latias, sorry. Well, you got Shadow Ball. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Gengar, Venusaur and Diggersby, I believe. Maybe I'll go for Greninja. I don't know, I think. Diggersby hits more things harder. So yeah, that's how we're gonna go. He's taking a long time deciding his team, apparently. But <laughs> I do as well, so... And as I said guys, if you're excited and if you enjoy watching these videos, be sure to show some support because you don't know how much it means to me. It would mean the whole world if you like leave a sub or like a like or even a comment. <clears throat> Why does the recording always screw up when the battle is starting? I don't get it. Although I lead, lead off with my Gengar as he leads off with his Lopani. So yeah, I might just stay in and... Hmm... I'm just gonna stay in and Will-O-Wisp. 
I don't know if Megalopony outspeeds Gengar after getting his Mega Evolution off. I kind of think so. He's gonna get that scrappy build and hit me, that, hit me with a fake out. No substitute! Whoa! The place though. Although that's fine because I have my I have my sash intact. So I'm gonna go for a sludge bomb right here. Sludge bomb away! Power up punch. Oh man. This can go very bad if I don't stop this right now. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go for a sludge bomb. Probably gonna Yeah, it's gonna make the substitute bait. So I'm just gonna keep spamming Sludge Bomb because I don't want him to get a free sub up. And now, Scrap is such a good ability on Megalopony, honestly. If he switches out, that's fine, I guess. Did he have any Steel types? I don't think so. No, I had Mawile. Mawile, that's right, but I don't, get, don't think he brought Mawile because there's no reason to have a Mawile unless it's Mega, and we can see that this is his Mega. So high jump kick, My, will that take me out? It will, oh man. Didn't think so though. Oh shit. Now I might, I kind of want to go out into Digger's Pit, but I'm not. I'm going to go out into Venusaur. I'm going to Mega Ball of course. Get the thick fat going. And I might just go for a Giga Drain. Yeah, I'm gonna go for Giga, go for Giga Train because he can outspeed me, get it like a high jump kick off or whatever. Then I can just. I'm hoping this guy doesn't have Train Punch or this can be a very hard battle. We'll see. So yeah, substitute it. Although I think I can break it with my Giga Train because Lopan's defenses is isn't the best, I guess. Yeah, the substitute base. I'm just gonna skip. Keep spamming Giga Drains. Please go for Ice Punch. Now he withdraws. Good play, probably Talon Flame right there. Yeah. Now what to do, what to do, what to do. I believe I just have to stay in and go for a Sludge Bomb and hoping that I can live. I'm gonna check my defenses real quick. So I got 187 hit points and I have 184 in defense. I believe that I should be able to take one Brave Bird and throw off a monstrous sludge bomb. I believe, I'm not sure. Pray to God, pray to God. Taunt? Well, I was just going for a sludge bomb, so screw you. I'm just gonna go for another sludge bomb now that I see it. He isn't bad and so he definitely will not be able to take me out. With the next Brave Bird he's probably gonna go for, or maybe Willow is fine enough. Yeah, Brave Bird it is. Unless it gets like a super duper crit. Yeah, I live. So we see that I couldn't have lived a uh, Choice Bandit though. A Choice Bandit Brave Bird will take me out, so that's good to know. Although it isn't good, because I want my Venusaur to be able to take any hit. <laughs> Because Choice Band and Talon Flame is a very common in battle spot. So now we're probably gonna see the low funny come out and just fake out kill me. But we'll see, let's see. He sends out low funny, yeah. I believe I'm just gonna go down to a fake out here. Because Hmm what is more important this game? I'm feeling I can bring it back with my, with my Digger Speed. In, in case he didn't bring the Rotom Wash. What, what is, is Rotom Wash good against my team? Let's think, I got the Greninja, Heatran, Slurpuff. Well he isn't, I'm gonna risk it, I'm gonna try to bring it back with my, with my Ice Punch. So yeah, we got Thick Fat. We take it! You don't know I have Thick Fat? Can't you see how fat I am? Oh, and we almost take him out. Yeah, that's good. I could probably take another one, actually. Or maybe not. We'll see. 
I'm going for another Giga Drain. He goes for a high jump kick. That's gonna take me out. Yeah. Although I have quick attack on my bigger speed. So I'm just gonna go for quick attack. Because I can't take a high jump kick. So quick attack it is. I could go for sword slam and predicting the switch, but I don't think he's gonna switch at this when he's at this low of HP. Because whenever he comes in again I can just kill him with a quick attack. So who's your last one? Please no Rotom. If it's something else than Rotom, we might have a triple win this time. It's Rotom. Damn! <laughs> Although a wild charge, he must miss a... If he doesn't miss his Hydro Pump. If he misses his Hydro Pump, we'll be fine. Although I don't think he will. I'm gonna go for a wild charge. will o Yeah. Should've gone for Swords Dance. Yeah, that's a crit, <laughs> oh my god. Now my only chance of bringing this back if he, is if he misses a uh, Hydro Pump and then I can set up a Sword Stance. Sword Stance it is. Hits the Hydro Pump, we're dead. So yeah, that is gonna be it for this episode of how to get legal rank. We did take two steps forward and one step back, but that's fine I guess because... Because... Well, we took two steps forward and one step back, so we're one step ahead always. Always one step ahead. So yeah guys, if you enjoyed this episode of how to get legally ranked, make sure you follow me, make sure you like this video, make sure you comment, I mean if you comment I will definitely reply, because you know, you, it'll be my only comment. <laughs> so yeah guys, thanks for watching, <clears throat> and I'll see you guys next time, goodbye.